Hello friends, in this quick lecture, I'm going to discuss what do you mean by global average pooling. Uh, before I dive, dive into the properties, I'm going to quickly show what a gap layer does. So global average pooling is also sometimes called as gap layer. So let's say we have an input uh, future map of dimensions H into W into D. Uh, when we pass this input layer into a gap operation, what it does is it calculates the average value of each and every single feature map and uh, uh, returns uh, the average value into the output node. So this particular node will contain the average value of this particular feature map. And since we have D number of feature maps in the input layer, we have D number of nodes in the output layer. Let's uh, see the properties of uh, gap layer. So uh, pulling the average value of a single feature map that I just discussed now. So this is a single feature map and uh, this node is nothing but the average value of this single feature map. So it drastically reduces the dimensions of the input layer. So here our input layer is of dimensions h into w into d and the output is just one by one into d so by a factor of h into w it uh, drastically reduces the dimensions of the output layer so by reducing the dimensions uh, the number of parameters are reduced and if in general if we have a lot of parameters we are prone to overfitting by reducing these dimensions it inherently reduces overfitting like other parameter uh, pooling uh, operations, we don't have any parameters to train. And uh, this particular operation originally appeared in network in network paper, the same paper that also introduced one by one convolutions. So some of the popular uh, uh, implementations that include gap layer are in dressnets and in object localization. Uh, I'll discuss both of them in detail later. But uh, just to let you know, gap is uh, used in these two uh, scenarios. So before I end this lecture, I'm going to give a quick recap of the pooling operations that I discussed earlier. So firstly, match pooling or average pooling. This operation uses a sliding window into a single feature map and uh, based on the slide uh, dimensions of the sliding window and whether you're uh, using a max pooling or average pooling, your output will depend accordingly. The second one is uh, one by one convolutions and uh, this uh, performs pooling in along the depth direction. So it uh, reduces the dimensions of the uh, depth. Okay. And uh, this is uh, uh, global average pooling that I uh, just discussed. So it uh, pulls off the average value of a single feature map. That's all for this lecture. Thanks for watching.